gonna fail this assignment because my dad won't open up. I'm gonna fail because my dad went to Home Depot five years ago and never came back. Look, Steve, a lot of people feel more comfortable talking about personal things when it's not face-to-face. -face. Maybe you should try calling your dad. I guess it's worth a shot. Hello? Hey, Dad, what, what you up to? Eating lunch. I just needed a break from work, you know? Lately, I've been thinking about all the people I've had to kill. God, the first five, ten times you take a life, it's eerie. You remember every detail. I can see all their faces. One had a beard. Each time I pulled the trigger, I tied a little knot in my memory that no amount of whiskey could loosen. Of course, eventually, I stopped caring. Now I can put a bullet through a man's head while figuring out how much KFC to pick up on my way home. It's usually no more than a bucket. The sick part is I've come to love it. Snuffing out lives. I crave it. I feel like an angel of death. The messenger of eternal darkness. A merciless demon with an unquenchable... Oh, they just put more orange chicken in the buffet. Gotta run. I can't turn this in. It's all about my dad killing people. Call your dad again and get him to talk about something else. Hello? Hey, Dad. Son, glad you called. I was kind of bumming, thinking about your mom. What? Why? Uh, I feel our lovemaking has lost all its intimacy. We're not attuned to each other's love energies. We're just slamming away. Dad, I'm here with the guys on speakerphone. Hey, guys. Yeah, lovemaking sure can turn into sex without you even noticing it. And why not? Sex with your mom feels great. It's easy to think maybe that is love. And then there's the performer in me, always trying to get your mom turned on. I pull her hair, choke her lightly, or not so lightly. Dad, when you were my age, what was the cost of a loaf of bread? The focus becomes how hot she gets. How many times I can make her shudder with pleasure. All right, this is enough. Dad, what do mom's boobs look like? I'll tell you, Snot, they're perfect. Creamy twins with faint blue veins running over them like cooling streams I can wash my face in. Steve, you're up. Yeah, uh, see, my dad wasn't really willing to answer the questions. Sounds like a whole lot of nonsense, Steve. You know what I think? I think you're just trying to get out of this assignment. Oh, is that what you think? <laughs> okay, Mr. Brink, here we go. Hello? Hey, Dad, I'm calling from my history class. So, who was president when you were a kid? Oh, I don't know. I guess I think about killing myself pretty frequently. And why not? What's so great about a living? You know when I'm happy? For about five seconds in the morning when I first wake up. Before I remember who I am and what my life is all about. Anxiety. Disappointment. Diarrhea more often than not. I don't... I don't know if there's an afterlife. But who cares? Nothingness couldn't be any worse than this meaningless march through my empty days. See, Mr. Brink? Mr. Brink? He's right. It's pointless. Life dismissed. <laughs>